no matter what happens, like anything goes, but at the end of the day, if you tap me right now, he's no backing out. You guys can? Yeah, okay. yeah. Directional run. Directional run. run. So this was it. The final stretch of the rickshaw run. We had fallen behind drastically, and we had a tough decision to make. It's gonna have to be 300k days. And that's gonna be after every, every day from now. We're yeah. continuing literally in a straight line from here to Jasana, but it's more like barren land, like not big towns and like. But do we want that though? Do we want to be on three lane roads? Yeah, it's it's boring. Boring. 300k days. There's not even much time to do any filming at all. The options were simple stay on the highway and catch up to all the other runners, or listen to a man on a camel, risk everything. But like, old mate down the road who spoke a bit of English was like, yo, go to Mount Abu. Oh yeah, okay. Like, yeah, <laughs> you trust that guy? Trust he had no teeth. Yeah. 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 He was a camel, you have to trust yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. And surprisingly, that was all the convincing that we needed to say, the highway. We didn't come to India to take the safe route, stay on three lane roads, traffic signs, and bathroom pit stops. We knew there was more out there. We just had to find it, which in turn meant less sleep. Well, sleep too. Hi, Trevor, Everything had to move faster, double time. There was no room for mistakes. And here we were with an engine zip tied together, full throttle up a mountain. We're in Mount Abu, sun's rising, monkeys are eating, and John's almost getting bitten. Good morning. Whoa! Chill, chill out, bro. chill, 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 chill. Don't come into my What do you want to Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> so we've just found a mountain, and me and the lads have decided to go up it. You see, we came to India with a plan to have no plans. Forget warm showers, GPSs, Yelp reviews, and travel insurance. Good luck getting that without a driver's license. This was a proper adventure where all we had was a start and a finish line. Every day in between was left up to us to make it count. But it was time to take the biggest risk of them all because there's only one rule in the rickshaw run and we are about to break it. That's gonna do the most dangerous thing you can do in India. Drive rickshaws at night on a highway where there's trucks and buses going everywhere. Look at this. Hopefully tonight we're not going to be another statistic. I think the biggest concern would probably be an animal. If there's a dog or something on the road, it would demolish our tuk-tuks and we're running at about 60 k's an hour. We want to get them and make the finish party. We've got to do it. Oh yeah, it's so cold. Yeah, look at it. Good to warm up. Yeah, you boys liking that? <laughs> oh yeah, we have been on the road for 13 hours and we have another hour and a half to go. Biggest day yet, 450 k's. 450? <laughs> Minus 150. <laughs> oh dude, we're doing the video. Change changed 17 times. Adopted right. four kids. <laughs> Let's go do what everyone wants to do. After a long night of sheer terror, we finally made it to the deserts of Rajasthan. Mosquito nets, uh, the whole shebang. Double tent, 2,000. Yeah. Triple tent, 2,500. Quite expensive for a tent, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, lads, we're going glamping. We've got a share our body heat, lads. Let's get in cuddling nice and tight. Oh. That's a good start. Half price. Half price. <laughs> <laughs> Probably one of the nicest bathrooms we've seen in the, our entire India trip. Complete with tarpaulin. Oh, complete with a. Little bug as well. Little viewing window for outsiders' pleasure looking in or your pleasure looking out. Shampoos, don't eat that. This is actually pretty fun. The last night on the road of it going camping. This is tripping me out. It was finally time to catch up on some much needed sleep. And then Phil found an aux cable in the speaker. Suddenly, we had a challenger, and he had some moves. However, he did not know that we were preparing for this moment the entire trip.
We're going to have to snuggle tonight. I'm down. It's our last day. We woke up at 5 o'clock and Blake, our cameraman, does not want to live at the Jones. moment. <laughs> you know where to find it. We've got a big day ahead of us. Final day. Good old seven hour drive at least to be done. It's like quarantine day. Like, Who's the sick one in the group? Take your pick. You get a free chocolate if you guess. <laughs> I've looked at Blake today. He looked terrible, so I feel great. I feel great! We're gonna finish today! I feel alive, I feel alive, I feel alive. Ecstatic uh, and cold. And it begins. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning and we're getting on the road. This is gonna be dangerous, it's gonna be fun. Yeah! So this was it, the last ride. Last time being in these tin cans that had no business being on a road trip. Less safety than a go-kart. About as comfortable as a sex talk with your grandparents. It breaks down more than a 90s scene kid. And yet, we learn to love them. Because as incapable as they were, if they were able to make it across the country, then so could we. I will never get over that stupid Jar Jar painting though. It was our last time saying pull over, no pull over now. I can't believe you did that. Which also kind of felt like a rite of passage. Our last random pit stop, which taught us that it's never a bad idea to pull off and explore. I noticed a bunch of wild camels on the side of the road. We sent John in for the hunt. Let's go ahead and say hello, give him a little tap on the back side. Whoop. Our last 69. Finally, our last time coming in last. One, two, three! <laughs> now look sexy. We are going to get in our rituals. Single file, follow the lead ritual, then we're going to do a whole lap of the fort and back here. We managed to make it just in time for the victory lap. One glorious final convoy with all the other runners. Well, most of them. It was hard to imagine these two weeks were coming to an end. Kicking off the new year with this insane challenge, forcing these hilarious vehicles across the country, spreading happiness and confusion everywhere we went, meeting so many of the nicest people imaginable. People that taught us how to be kinder, how to be welcoming, how to be there for a stranger, and how to dance. And as we made our way through the tropics and the cities and the desert, we made it to the finish line and it felt like we accomplished something. We weren't really sure what it was or if anyone would understand. I guess if nothing else, it's like what Matt said. We were gonna walk away with a bunch of stories to bore our grandchildren with. India has eaten me up and shat me out the other side in the most beautiful way. And I never graduated college, but if I did, I imagine it would be something like this. Suits, Bros, castles. And even though we didn't have dates, we had the slickest pajamas money could buy. It was time for one last celebration with the class. These are the guys who decided on their first day to smash into the back of a bus. Somewhere, please. It's a bit late, but be careful out there. <laughs> I want to say thank you to so many people. Some people I definitely forget. An awesome group of people. And that was the last thing that we didn't expect. To meet so many people who were just like us. The black sheep, the middle child, the oddballs. The people who came from all around the world to live out the spirit of adventure. The best reason to do the ritual run is to Put yourself outside of your comfort zone. Spending two weeks inside a tuk-tuk, having to travel hundreds of kilometres every day. Tucked up in a little tuk-tuk, pretty crammed. And then we're on the most dangerous roads in the world. Pretty much, yeah, I was terrified 99% of the time. And you just got to push through it all. I didn't expect any of these amazing sights, amazing people. It's rugged. <laughs> you don't know where you're going. And getting to the end of the day, the sun's setting, and you're not knowing where you're going to stay. That, that's fun, that's travelling. Had an amazing night. I fell down some stairs, 
cut my head open, finish the run with a bang. India. <laughs> Yeah, that was a dodgy.